Amen. We have upgraded our home defense system. We have upgraded the home security. I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, so those of you who've been around for a while, remember our old home defense system. And you'll remember how much shit I took about this thing. So, break action 410. Back then I was keeping it loaded with bird shot. The, th the thought process was that uh, this was a daytime thing because if I'm gone at work and the woman needs to, Mariah needs to defend the home, she needs something simple, safe, and at the ready, they would keep this hidden in somewhere just like this, open with the shell inserted. All she has to do is close it, cock it, clamp it underneath her arm, point in the general direction, and go boom. Not even really all that important that she hits, in my opinion. She needs to, to have something to dissuade someone uh, and something that's easy for her to use and something that she'll be willing to shoot. And I think this was perfect for that. We had uh, extra shells right here. It's a simple reload. Clamp. Now that that is not easy to hit with. I, I can't hit like that. You got to practice a lot to hit like that. But it's not really important that she hit in this case. We're talking about her scaring someone off. That, uh, that, my wife is never, ever, ever going to be G.I. Jane. She needs to be able to pose a credible threat to, uh, to whatever might be threatening her. Uh, and out here in the middle of nowhere, 99.999% of the time, that's all we would need. And you don't need to spend your life in fear. I still think that this is a, a viable option. I actually, I actually got rid of the seven shot. The reason why we were using the bird shot is because we have kids behind every wall in the house. And uh, I worry about, you know, if she did miss, blowing holes through a wall and hitting the kid on the other side of the wall. Because if there is a wall in that house, there's a kid behind it. Uh, I took a lot of guff from that from some of you. Some of you I, I admire. And uh, I did ultimately switch to the slugs, mostly just because I was able to find slugs. Don't tell me that's not going to slow someone down. All right, well, I went to the pawn shop the other day, and we're not going to talk a whole lot about this today. But they had this Turkish pump. Uh, it's called a Churchill uh, for $220. And I said, what the hell? How are you going to beat a $200 pump? So we upgraded. Now... This is still something for Mariah to use during the day because daddy comes home almost every night unless there's, you know, some kind of training, you know, it's like maybe two or three nights a year I'm not at this house. And when daddy's home, there's AR-15s, there's 357 Magnums, there's battle axes and tomahawks. Uh, when, when daddy's home, you don't have to worry about it. But during the day, if she needed something, and, and the most the likely thing she would need it for is chasing a dog out of the chicken coop. I saw a coyote today up the road wandering around a hay field that they'd just been mowed. So they, they probably, you know, chopped some mice up and, and the coyote was walking around looking for dead things in the hay field. That's both the most likely thing she's ever going to have to mess with is, is something getting in the chickens, maybe a rabid dog or something, a rabid raccoon. And, uh, and this is just her coat to during the day. Now, because she's never going to be G.I. Jane, and because I know she's not going to shoot this whole, this thing a lot. Hold on a second. I've got it loaded with these shorties. This is a shot one. This is an shot one. So here's a regular size buckshot. I want to thank Alex uh, from... I'm not sure the best way to identify them. You know who you are, Alex. Thank you for getting these to me because I couldn't find any. Uh, I actually found these today. He gave me some Aguila buckshot. We're not using the buckshots today for this. We're going to keep those for actually keeping in the, in the weapon. Here's a regular size. I think this is two and three quarter inch shell. I'm pretty sure that's a two and three quarter inch shell. Maybe not. This is an inch and a half. The little one's an inch and a half. So maybe that's a three inch. Now that's two and three quarter. This is a regular two and three quarter inch buckshot. And, and these are the little shorties 
I'm loading in there for her. Because again, she's never gonna be GI Jane. She's not gonna train with this in day in, day out, nonstop. And, and if I'm beating her shoulder up with, with full power buckshot, uh, you know, she's gonna wince, she's gonna be unwilling to shoot it. It's gonna be, she's gonna be scared of it. It's gonna be counterproductive. So we're shooting the inch and a half low recoil stuff. All right, let's talk to the men folk real quick. What'd you think? What I think? Yeah. Uh, once I got, I, yeah, I guess it's good. Once I got a. Earlier you said you liked it better than the. Yeah. But, the break action, because it was simpler. Right. It was actually simpler for her to work this pump than it was to work this break action, because there were so many more steps involved. You know, you had to close it cock it safety safety yeah. so jimmy d you were right from the get-go i right, thank you baby mm -hmm. now you can get a low recoil shell that's full length and i may have to do that uh, because these shorties they feed reliably like 80 percent of the time maybe and i know maybe that's not good enough uh we're gonna this is an ACAR 612. Uh, we're, gonna, we're going to experiment with this. But right now, this is what's going to be hidden somewhere within arm's reach so she can grab it and repel borders. Let me show you something though. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, but we're gonna try it. This is what, what a recall from one of these shorties looks like. All of my targets blew down in the wind. Very, very, very manageable. Let's see if I can, if it'll show what one of these full size looks like. See, here's the problem with the short ones. And now we're gonna have to take a break for a minute and we may not be able to use the shorties. Actually, it may just be that we have to figure out how they work. Talk to you in a second. All right, I got that one out of there. Let's uh, see if I can show you. Let's see if this shows up on camera, the difference in the recoil. I don't have any targets, so I'm just gonna blast. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I hope that showed up. <laughs> I was completely unprepared. Clearly, I haven't shot a 12 gauge in too long. All right, we're gonna try these uh, these full size again since I looked like such a dork the first time. These must be three inch. I don't know. Okay, full disclosure, I haven't shot a 12 gauge in years. Other than that one you just saw me do that caught me off guard. See if I can control this one a little better. Well, that is still kicking my ass. And now it's jammed again. What the hell is going on here? Says it can take three inch. <sighs> oh, look at that. If y'all can see that, it tore through the ejector. The ejector tore through the shell. Uh, look, that uh, that extractor tore right through the rim on that shell. 
I am not a gunsmith by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, y'all saw me shoot that. But uh, we're going to shoot the other one and see if that happens again. Let's try it one more time. See if I can keep my hand on the pistol grip this time. Are we in the shot? All right. Let me get my stance and get leaned into this thing this time. There we go. That was better. Now let's see if it'll extract. It won't extract. Oh, there it went. No, it was fine. Something about these is sticking, though. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just don't know enough about 12 gauge shotguns. It doesn't matter. We've upgraded the home defense weapon and clearly I need to take a shotgun class or something because uh, obviously of course as long as you point it in a safe direction keep your finger straight and off the trigger till you're ready to kill treat it like it's loaded it's not like you can go too crazy hell I would have bet 95% of all problems can be solved by that right there probably don't even have to load it so those of you who are worried about the 410 relax it's gone we appreciate you, man. Thank you.